Yo, what's up? I'm playing chess. Um, sorry, <laughs> some crazy construction outside. I had to also fix my sound before I started. So the last game we lost, it was really depressing. The guy moved fast, got a time edge, and it, and it really cost us in the end of the game. And we had a winning position, we just <laughs> couldn't make it happen. Uh, I'm just going to go knight to d2. Just call up my knight first. I don't like to go h3 until they castle, because they can get this kind of really annoying kingside attack. So, I always wait till they castle before I push that h pawn. Like, they can just start pushing, you know, they can castle queenside, basically. And then the pawn on h3 is a target for them. So they go g5, g4, blast open my kingside, and it's really unpleasant. I'm just trying to avoid that this game. Moving quick. Ah, uh, let's take this, whatever. Mm, oh, uh, you know what? Center. This king's still in the middle. I feel like it's a good time to go d4. I'll probably castle now. Ah, uh, he didn't. Ah, uh, I'm gonna do... I'm gonna put the knight here, even though usually I like it on g3, because now I have two options, f5 and d5. It's hard to deal with both of them. So if he goes pawn takes pawn, I mean, queen takes is actually pretty good. Whoa, ah, knight of five somehow looks good to me. I'm just going to do it. Didn't calculate it, but, well, it looks really good. Okay, I mean, if he has to do that, that's obviously good. So now, God, I don't know. Um, can't find any winning moves, sadly. Oh, I don't know, taking feels like maybe not right. What if I... Bishop takes, he has to take with the pawn, and I think it's okay for him, sadly. Oh, brutal. I can't find a way to, to make anything good happen here. I'm going to assume that if he takes, what the, f all right, whatever. I was going to assume if he takes my knight, that his king's in the middle and it's going to be a problem. So I figure, I just want to develop my rook and stuff. If knight f4, queen e3, whatever. does castle. Ah, uh, if I, I still feel like I should do this. Like some development, we still have some development issues. Rook on a7. All right, so now I think I should probably retreat my knight. I'm going to play real safe. I just don't think it was doing that much there anymore. Position looks fine for him though. Seems useful. I mean, because all of his pieces are now on perfectly normal spots, so I don't feel like it's so great for me. It's not bad, though. I go bishop takes bishop. Will he take with a pawn? I don't think it's good anymore. Yeah, it might be good, but I can start trading. And now I can go knight f5. Oh, he's attacking my a pawn. Not really. I'm attacking his e pawn. I'm going to assume this is okay. My instincts. I kind of want to go g3, kick his knight out. Because he can't go g6, because his, his pawn on h6 would be attacked. So, that's what I'm thinking. If queen a2, I just assume knight e5 is good for me. I haven't done any big analysis, but his knight on f4 would then be without a defender. I'm taking a central pawn. Time situation... Okay, I mean, I think g3. Uh, we might go knight, eight, knight h3 and then knight g5, but he didn't. So now, rook d5. I'll play it because it's... Oh god, it just blunders the game away. Oh no, it doesn't, but it almost does. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's a very risky move. If rook takes, pawn takes, I'm just lucky I'm attacking his knight. And then queen takes knight. Okay, we'll see. And I take his e pawn, and then I, I take uh, knight takes e5. Uh, maybe I have to take with a queen here. We have some kind of. Oh. Playing aggressively. Probably fine. Uh, yeah. Um. I don't know if that's good. Knight, knight f6 threatens knight d5. Well, 
I guess I'm gonna take this. I'll probably take on c3. And, you know, we gotta figure out, do we wanna just play for a draw? Probably. But knight e5... I have a feeling like... It might be that good for me. But, you know, knight e5 looks interesting, I think. Because... He can't really move his knight forward, his knight on f6. There's no good squares for it. So, maybe. Maybe it's playable, I don't know. If he goes a5, I think I'll go knight takes f7 and go for some attack. We'll see. I mean, I messed this game up a long time ago. I didn't see that move, honestly. I totally didn't see it. Is queen e4 here or knight? Okay, he wants to trade. I mean, knight d7 almost wins. Not, not quite. Knight f7, rook a7. Wait, which one should I do? Knight f7, I'm like slightly worse still. Rook a7, knight c5. Rook c7. Give me a second here, folks. I don't like how his rook gets behind the pawn in all these lines. Knight f7, rook takes, rook takes, rook a7. Rook a4, a5, king f3, king f7, king e4, king. I don't like the rook in front of the pawn. Alright, I'm gonna do, do this move. I'm just gonna start harassing his knight. We'll probably go knight c5. I'm gonna do this for a bit. I don't know, is he gonna go knight b3, then rook b7? I mean, probably I just draw this. I think rook b7, alright. You can also just play this. If a5, knight c6. Unless I'm missing something here, this should be a pretty easy draw. Rook d5, bad move. Draw. Draw. I accept. Down on time. Um, a little lucky this game, but also, I mean, a little lucky that I, I sort of just blundered that move, but it, fortunately it wasn't losing. Um, I just whatever. What should I do instead? I mean, the position's like h4. It's logical. I'm slightly better. Yeah, h4 is what your computer says. I mean, because my pieces just have more scope, and it's just a horrible blunder. I mean, it's it's not. I'm not losing, but it's ugly. Checking Houdini evaluation out of curiosity. I'm sure I was always. I, I think I was always fine. Yeah, and it agrees that. Yeah, rook d5 is bad. But hey, you know, lucky that when you blunder, you draw instead of lose. <laughs> anyway, uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.